Welcome to Cyber World YT. Like and subscribe if you are new here for amazing ethical hacking and cybersecurity related content. Also follow me on Instagram for in case of any queries. Today we're diving into the top 10 skills you need to survive as a hacker in 2025. From AI-powered attacks to quantum decryption, the threats are evolving faster than ever. But don't worry, we're going to equip you with the knowledge and skills to stay one step ahead of the bad guys. Now, before we jump in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our cutting-edge content. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, understanding these skills will be crucial for protecting yourself and your data in the years to come. So, let's get started. All right, let's kick things off with artificial intelligence, or AI for short. Now, AI is already making waves in the cybersecurity world, and by 2025, it's going to be an absolute game changer. Think about it. AI can analyze massive amounts of data at lightning speed, spot patterns, and even predict future attacks. For ethical hackers, this is huge. We can use AI to automate vulnerability scanning, identify potential threats in real time, and even develop more effective security solutions. But here's the catch hackers with malicious intent can use AI too. Imagine AI-powered malware that can adapt to your defenses, or phishing attacks so sophisticated they can fool even the most vigilant users. Scary stuff, right? That's why understanding AI is no longer optional, it's essential. To thrive in the world of AI-driven cybersecurity, you'll need to get familiar with machine learning algorithms, data analysis techniques, and AI-specific security tools. There are tons of resources available online, from beginner-friendly courses to advanced certifications. The key takeaway here is that AI is a double-edged sword. Okay, buckle up because things are about to get a little mind-bending. We're talking about quantum computing, a technology so powerful it has the potential to break the encryption we rely on today. See, traditional computers use bits, which can be either a zero or a one. Quantum computers, on the other hand, use qubits. Now, qubits can be zero, one, or both at the same time. It's this both at the same time thing that makes them exponentially more powerful. Quantum computers are already being developed, and they're going to have a massive impact on cybersecurity. On the one hand, quantum encryption could make our data virtually unhackable. But on the other hand, quantum computers could also be used to break the encryption we use for everything from online banking to national security. So, what does this mean for aspiring hackers? Well, it means you need to start wrapping your head around quantum computing concepts like superposition and entanglement. You'll also need to learn about post-quantum cryptography, which is essentially a new type of encryption designed to withstand quantum attacks. And trust me, the sooner you start learning, the better prepared you'll be for the quantum revolution. Let's face it, the cloud is everywhere these days. From storing our photos to running entire businesses, we rely on cloud services more than ever before. And you know what that means, more targets for hackers. But here's the thing, cloud computing isn't just a challenge for cybersecurity, it's also an opportunity. For ethical hackers, the cloud is like a giant playground, full of new systems to explore and vulnerabilities to uncover. To excel in cloud security, you'll need to understand the different types of cloud services, like infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. You'll also need to be familiar with cloud-specific security tools and techniques. That's why it's crucial to stay up to date on the latest cloud security best practices and to develop a deep understanding of how these systems work. Okay, let's talk about networking. Now, I know what you're thinking, networking? Isn't that just a bunch of cables and routers? And yeah, there's definitely some of that involved. But networking is so much more than just connecting devices. See, networking is the backbone of the internet. It's how data travels from one point to another, and it's a critical part of cybersecurity. As an ethical hacker, understanding networking is essential for identifying vulnerabilities, analyzing network traffic, and defending against attacks. So, what do you need to know? Well, you'll need to have a solid understanding of networking protocols like TCP, IP, DNS, and HTTP. You'll also need to be familiar with different types of network devices like routers, switches, and firewalls. And of course, you'll need to know how to use networking tools like Nmap, Wireshark, and Metasploit. That means staying up to date on the latest networking technologies and attack methods. Listen, the world of cybersecurity is constantly evolving. 
New technologies are emerging all the time and the threats are becoming more sophisticated by the day. That's why it's absolutely crucial to stay ahead of the curve and embrace the latest tech. Think about it. If you're stuck using outdated tools and techniques, you're going to get left behind. Hackers are always looking for the easiest way in, and that often means exploiting vulnerabilities in older systems. So, what can you do? First, make it a habit to stay informed about the latest cybersecurity trends, read industry blogs, follow security researchers on social media, and attend conferences if you can. The more you know about what's out there, the better equipped you'll be to protect yourself and your data. Okay, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's take a step back and talk about the fundamentals of cybersecurity. Because here's the thing, no matter how advanced the technology gets, the basic principles of cybersecurity remain the same. Think of it like building a house. You can have all the fancy gadgets and appliances in the world, but if your foundation is weak, the whole thing can crumble. The same goes for cybersecurity. So what are the fundamentals? Well, it starts with understanding the CIA triad, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Confidentiality means keeping sensitive information private. Integrity means ensuring that data hasn't been tampered with. And availability means making sure that systems and data are accessible to authorized users when they need them. A strong foundation in cybersecurity fundamentals will serve you well, no matter what the future holds. Let's be real, if you want to be a successful hacker, you need to know how to code. And I'm not talking about just copying and pasting pre-written scripts. I'm talking about understanding how code works, how to write your own exploits, and how to reverse engineer malware. Now I know what you're thinking, Linus. Coding is hard. And yeah, it can be challenging at times. But it's also incredibly rewarding, especially when you see your code come to life and actually do something cool. So what programming languages should you learn? Well, Python is a great place to start. It's a versatile language that's used for everything from web development to data analysis to cybersecurity. Other popular choices include JavaScript, C++, and assembly language. The best way to learn is to just dive in and start coding. All right, let's talk about cryptography, the art of secret writing. Now, cryptography has been around for centuries, but it's more important than ever in today's digital age. Why? because we're transmitting sensitive information over the internet all the time, and we need to make sure that information stays private. So, how does cryptography work? Well, it involves using mathematical algorithms to transform data into an unreadable format. This encrypted data can then be transmitted securely over the internet, and only someone with the correct decryption key can read it. As an ethical hacker, you need to understand the different types of cryptography, like symmetric key cryptography, and public key cryptography. You'll also need to be familiar with cryptographic hash functions and digital signatures. That's why it's crucial to stay up to date on the latest cryptographic techniques and to develop a deep understanding of how these systems work. All right, let's talk about penetration testing or pen testing for short. This is where things get really fun. Pen testing is essentially ethical hacking in action. It's the process of simulating real-world attacks on computer systems and networks to identify vulnerabilities before the bad guys do. Think of it like this. You're a burglar hired to break into a house and test its security. You'll try to pick locks, climb through windows, and exploit any weaknesses you can find. But instead of stealing anything, you'll report your findings to the homeowner so they can fix the vulnerabilities before a real burglar takes advantage of them. To become a successful pen tester, you'll need a strong understanding of networking, operating systems, and web application security. You'll also need to be familiar with a wide range of pen testing tools like Metasploit, Burp Suite, and Nmap. Okay, let's face it, no matter how good our security is, breaches are going to happen. That's where incident response comes in. Incident response is the process of handling security breaches and minimizing the damage they cause. Think of it like this. You're a firefighter called to a burning building. Your job is to put out the fire, rescue any occupants, and investigate the cause of the fire. Incident responders do the same thing, but in the digital world. They work quickly to contain the breach, identify the affected systems, and restore normal operations. They also collect evidence to determine how the breach occurred and prevent similar attacks in the future. Well, there you have it, the top 10 skills you need to survive as a hacker in 2025. From AI to quantum computing to the ever-evolving world of cloud security, 
the future of cybersecurity is going to be wild. But don't worry, by embracing these skills and staying ahead of the curve, you'll be well equipped to handle whatever challenges come your way. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Cyber World YT for more videos on cybersecurity and ethical hacking. Stay safe and stay ahead in the world of hacking.